Now let's move on to the original free kick and things going on in the world of professional soccer. This is kind of a cleaning out the closet portion of the show because we've been off for about a week. So a lot of games and activities have taken place. So I'm referring to matches from July 7th and July 8th. I know that's in sports terms, that was an eternity ago. But bear with me and we're going to go over these and then we'll get caught up uh, for all things going on in the world of soccer. We'll start with Atlanta United. They earned a 2-2 draw at Nashville on July 8th. Some highlights from the contest. Anton Walks, he scored his second goal of the season for Atlanta. Homegrown player Jackson Conway got his first MLS goal in just his third appearance uh, with the team. And we're going to do a breakdown of those homegrowns in a moment. But here is manager Gabriel Heinze on the result for Atlanta. Mire, estamos en un momento que, que nos pasa de todo. We are like in a, in a bad moment. Everything is eh, happening to us. El resultado es algo que no... Que, que no es analizable. Like the result is something that right, right now we cannot analyze. Que yo nunca exijo. And I, don't, I don't ask the player for a result. Pero lo que hoy me han dado mis jugadores es, es una muestra de... Una muestra de de lo que lo que uno le pide, ¿no? I what my players uh, show me today is something that I've been asking them uh, since we started. Hubiera dicho lo mismo si el partido se perdía, porque la la entrega y la lucha de estos chicos es, es algo muy bonito. I would tell you the same even if we if we have lost the the game because what what they, they put on the field today. Me han demostrado nunca bajar los brazos. They, they show me that they didn't put the hands down. Me han demostrado valentía para jugar y con y sin, y sin balón. They were not afraid to play with and without the ball. En este momento que, que tuvimos eh, el marcador atrás, and even with the, like with the scores, that we were losing, like in the moment that we were losing the game, siguieron intentando y luchando. And they keep trying and fighting. Yeah, and Atlanta got off to a quick lead within the first few minutes. Matter of fact, in the fifth minute of the contest was that goal for walks. Marcelino Moreno won a free kick in Nashville's half. And Jake Mulraney was able to deliver a ball into the penalty area. And Walks was able to get his head on it and push the ball in net for Atlanta. It was Walks' second goal of the season and fourth of his Atlanta career. That was also Jake Mulraney's fourth assist of the season for Atlanta, which is a team high. Here is Walks on the goal. I want to say it's just happening, I think. We know the areas, I know the areas where the guys want to aim for and, you know, it kind of came in an awkward position, but to be fair, me and Jake had one of those yesterday when we were just playing around, doing our own thing yesterday, so, you know, just spending time together, getting these relationships, things like that will work, so I'll take, I mean, Jake will take the credit for that. <laughs> now, starting for Atlanta at goalkeeper was Alec Khan or Alec Kahn, excuse me, who was in replacing Brad Guzan, who is with the United States national team as they are in the world, not the World Cup, the Gold Cup. And uh, Alec made some very nice saves in the contest, including a diving stop on a Hany Mukhtar's shot in the 13th minute. However, Atlanta did concede their that goal, a goal in the contest, when uh, Jaleel Anibaba was able to get a header into a pass and can, can to make the score one to one. And after a, a long stretch of no scoring that led into the second half, uh, Mukhtar was able to put, uh, put Nashville up two to one in the 49th minute when he converted a penalty kick. And that penalty kick was set up by a blatant and obvious handball by Kubo Torres, the Atlanta defender, in the penalty area during a Nashville corner kick. So the score was two to one and Atlanta was down. However, in the 59th minute, Atlanta was able to get the equalizer in the 59th minute with Conway's goal. Moreno was able to play a corner kick into the left side of the penalty area and Conway was able to connect with his header into the back, towards the back post and that ball, the ball went in and that made the score two to two. So as I mentioned, that was Conway's first goal for Atlanta United. And here are his thoughts on the goal itself. 
Absolutely. No, that's uh, that's one of, you know, Gabby's main things as a center forward is, is making that double movement. Um, you know, you pull that defender one way and then next thing you know, you're, you're off your shoulder. So, no, that's something they've been telling me. That's something Joseph's been telling me, you know, just on the side, just, you know, it's kind of an easy way to get away from the defender and kind of create that, that yard of space that you need. And, you know, it worked out. So definitely keep that in my locker for sure. And here is manager Gabriel Heinsett on at, on that goal and seeing Conway on the field. Bueno, lo he visto muy bien. Eso es muy bueno. Que ha entendido lo que hemos entrenado. He understood what we trained. Y después una, como dije, una valentía y una y, y unas ganas, ¿no? De ayudar al equipo. He was not afraid to play and he wanted to help the team. Lo había dicho que, que cada día estaba progresando más. I, I told you guys that uh, he was uh, playing better and better with the team. Y, y hoy lo ha demostrado. He today he showed it on the field. Pero lo más importante es los chicos que no venían jugando. But the most important thing for me are the players who are not uh, used to play. Hoy jugaron como si estaban jugando hace mucho tiempo and they show like they, they, like they have been playing with the group before y para mí eso es algo muy importante en, en mi profesión o lo que entiendo en el fútbol and for me this what they, they did is something very important in my profession as a coach para mí lo más importante es un grupo de jugadores for me the most important thing is the group of players y no un individual de un jugador and not like a talk about individuals now Atlanta was reduced to 10 men in the 74th minute when Jake Moraney was given a straight red card by referee Joe Dickerson when he challenged a Randall Leal just outside of the penalty area. Now that red card has since been rescinded, so Moraney was is not gonna be suspended for the next contest against New England, but he did have to sit out the rest of the game. Nash was not able to take advantage of the that free kick opportunity I mean, it got a nice shot on goal, but Can, uh, Can was able to tip the ball over the crossbar with a very athletic save. Can actually has six saves in that contest, this contest for Atlanta, and those his first MLS appearance since May of 2018. Here is teammate Anton Walks on Can and his performance. I said this from years ago about Alec. I think he's someone who's been great, even when he played for the first five or six months before Brad arrived here, I think he showed his quality as one of the best in the league. And we're very fortunate enough to have him here. He's a great professional again. He's a great role model. And he just conducts himself in the right way. We've got great goalkeepers here and, you know, he got his opportunity today and he deserved it because he showed what he's capable of and he done his job. So, again, that's the type of characters we need in our team when things don't go our way and guys have to step in. And, you know, it's very, we're very blessed to have a guy that had it too. Yeah, and Atlanta continued to push the ball towards uh, the net and try to get that third goal for the game winner, uh, but were just unable to. Probably the best chance after Conway's goal came in the 90th minute when Brooke Lennon was able to make a run to, into the right side uh, of the box, but his attempt was saved by Joe Willis, and that was the, the end of it for Atlanta scoring opportunities. So the score was 2-2, two to two, so Atlanta got a, uh, another road draw. Uh, and on their docket big moment or big thing from the takeaway from the match to me was the homegrown players and their impact on the contest the Mashap Chul he made his first MLS start for Atlanta and George Campbell came onto the field to replace Mo Adams in the 23rd minute and Adams unfortunately sustained a leg injury and a hamstring and he's going to be out several months so that is a bad break or unfortunate situation for Atlanta but George Campbell was able to enter the contest and so Atlanta had three homegrowns on the field on the, for the same on the field at the same time for the first time in franchise history because Tyler Wolf was also on the field so he had Scholl, uh, Tyler Wolf and George Campbell when Conway was a substitute for Kubo Torres there were four players of homegrown uh, background for Atlanta on the field at the same time so obviously that was the first time that had happened so you had four homegrown players on the on the pitch at the same time for atlanta and here's what jackson conway had to say about the homegrowns being on the pitch at the same time yeah no absolutely it was like academy united out there tonight you know even with child coming in and, and putting in a big shift to match up he's been a he's been working really hard uh match up to get in the side and i think he deserves it um 
but yeah, I mean, it's great seeing guys that I've played with since I was 12 years old, you know, with George Campbell coming on. I was super hyped. My parents texted me. His parents texted me after the game. So we're all pretty tight. Um, but yeah, it's awesome, you know, seeing those guys that I've, you know, came through the academy with together. And especially Tyler. I mean, it's it was a tough, uh, it's a tough, you know, spot to be in starting two games back to back as a, as an 18 year old. So hats off to him and, and uh, yeah, he, he worked hard tonight. So very proud, very, cra- very proud academy player. So. Yeah, so Atlanta is going to return to action on July 17th, this upcoming Saturday at home against the New England Revolution, who are in first place in the Eastern Conference. We'll have a full, full, full excuse me, we'll have a full preview of that contest on our next show.